dream come true for one Orlando teen. It's his first Christmas with his family after being apart for four long years. Yeah, we first told you about 13 year old Gregory Jean Jr. earlier this month when police rescued him from his father's home in a suburb of Atlanta. Police found him in the wall, a false wall of a linen closet. His father is still in jail facing child cruelty charges, but Fox 35 Jackie Roscoe caught up with Jean to find out what he's doing for Christmas. Does it kind of still feel weird that you're back home? No, it'll never be feeling weird with my family. Mm -hmm. I'm happy I'm back. Life's been great for 13-year-old Gregory Jean Jr. Room as soon as he wake up in the morning and say good morning before we go to sleep, he'd be like, um, good night or whatever, and we'll like I hug him, I love you and everything. <laughs> uh -huh. But we play together. Christmas also came a little early for Jean. He says Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs gave him this shiny red new bike. She also gave him a brand new iPad. Under his Christmas tree waits a bunch of other gifts from loved ones. Just can't wait till 12 o'clock on the dot. But life wasn't always this good. Jean was separated from his mom for four years. She didn't want to go on camera, but says she couldn't find him. It wasn't until Jean used social media to find her that they were finally reunited. Jean says his mom called police November 28th to go search for him at his dad's Georgia house. An officer discovered the 13-year-old in a cold, dark crawl space between the garage and the attic. Jean is thankful to this day for that officer. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm for saving me and for getting me out that um, attic. His father, Gregory Jean Sr., and stepmother are charged with child cruelty, false imprisonment, and obstruction. Jean Jr. says since he's been through a lot, he wants to help other struggling kids. Stay strong. Just mind your business. Do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. And so what gave you strength? Well, kept on praying every night, and I, I knew my mom was praying for me, too. Jean says he's excited to start school January 5th at Carver Middle with his brother and has big plans for his future. I'm trying to be a lawyer when I grow up. Reporting in Orlando, Jack Yorosko, Fox 35 News.